I don't even know where to begin with this. I don't know where to begin with this shit. Hold on. See this? Cannot fucking believe it. One freaking year ago. Well, let's rewind back to 15 years ago, because I saw my friend Mike Henry did a rant about this. Today's been 15 years since Mikey lost his late grandmother months before he graduated from high school. Fast forward to last year on this day. We lose an, a legend, an icon. One of the greatest to ever step foot on the basketball court. We lost five-time NBA champion, former Los Angeles Laker, the black mama Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna Bryant, and seven other people in a horrible helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. January 26th of last year hits me the most. I haven't had a celebrity death that hit me the most since Prodigy from Mob Deep. Prodigy's death still hits me to this day. Kobe's death still hits me to this day too. I've been a fan of Kobe all my life since I was a little kid. I watched him win his five NBA championships. The day after my ninth birthday, Indiana, Philadelphia, he and the Lakers swept the shit out of New Jersey, Orlando, and my 19th birthday, Boston. Those are the teams that he and the Lakers beat to win those five championships of his. Despite that Kobe and Shaq had their little feud going on, they still won three out of four championships. And I'm so glad that they decided to have an interview talking about it before that situation happened with Kobe. And I was lucky to see that interview when he was still alive. I know Shaq, he's definitely got to be heartbroken. That's been a year since he lost his former teammate, his little brother. You could pretty much call Kobe and Shaq the Tupac and Biggie of the NBA. Just like Kenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell were the Tupac and Biggie of Nickelodeon. The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin were the Tupac and Biggie of professional wrestling. Man, I, I just can't believe it. See, this is what happened. After I got home from work, I was getting my clothes ready. To go to my boy Serge Dragon's crib to watch the Royal Rumble that was here in Houston at the Minime Park. And I was playing Candy Crush on my phone while I was waiting for the Rockets game to come on. And I was excited to play Tatsunoko versus Capcom celebrating 10 years. Then I got a phone call from my sister asking me, she asked me, did you hear about Kobe Bryant? And I was like, I said, no, what are you talking about? And she said that Kobe Bryant died. I'm like, you, uh-uh, uh no, 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 not Kobe. No, 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 not Kobe. I thought it was just a hoax, but I turned on the CNN and it was the actual truth. Kobe died in the helicopter crash is what they said. I know my dad is still hurt about this. He's a fan of Kobe Bryant too, besides Michael Jordan. Me and my dad are huge fans of MJ and Kobe, my two favorite players of the NBA. And it still hurts to this day. I did a rant about remembering Kobe last year at Serge Dragon's crib with Mike Henry. And we just can't believe it. Soon as Mikey opened the door after I, uh, the door at Sir Dragon's crib after I knocked on it, 
We both hugged each other because we couldn't believe it. I figured he was going to hug me because we both fans of Kobe Bryant. So this news definitely ruined my January 26th of last year. You should have seen how depressed I was when I was doing a let's play of Tatsunoko versus Capcom before I went to search Dragon's Crib and did a remembering Kobe Bryant rant with Mikey. And everybody, all the NBA teams, at the first minutes of the first quarter of each games last year, they all took a 24 second violation to remember Kobe. I thought that was cool for them to do that. Take a 24 second violation to remember Kobe. Hopefully the Rockets and the Wizards do the same thing tonight. So I was planning to do a let's play of NBA Live 2004 to remember Kobe. But then I realized I had the 2010 remake of NBA Jam inside my Wii. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and do a let's play of the 2010 remake of NBA Jam to remember Kobe. Last time I played an NBA game when Kobe was still alive was two days before his death. And I never thought that would be the last time that I would play an NBA game when Kobe was still here. Anytime I play an NBA game, I will some always pick the Lakers. Even though the Rockets are my home team, the Lakers are my all-time favorite team since the Kobe Shaq era. Anytime I play NBA Street Volume 2, I would always pick these three players of the Lakers. Kobe, Shaq, and Derek Fisher. Whether it's NBA Street or NBA Street Volume 2, I always pick the Lakers. I always pick Kobe, Shaq, and Derek Fisher. I did four rants on Kobe when he was still here. The first rant I did on him was in honor of his 40th birthday. Second rant I did on him was a reaction to him getting ejected from a Lakers Sonics game by NBA official Brian Forte. Reminds me of Michael Jordan getting ejected from a Bulls Jazz game at triple overtime by NBA official Tommy Woods. Third rant I did on Kobe was a reaction to his last game where he and the Jazz, where he and the Lakers beat the Jazz 101 to 96, where he scored 60 points. I predicted for him to score 50, but he actually scored 60. And I actually did watch his last game, no doubt. And the last rant I, ran I did on Kobe a month before his death was a reaction to him and the Lakers taking on D Wade, Shaq, and the Miami Heat on Christmas Day 2004. That was the last video that I did on Kobe before his death. So here we are a year later. And everybody's still heard that Kobe's not here anymore. So now we're going to do a let's play of uh, the 2010 remake of NBA Jam. To remember Kobe Bryant's. We'll always remember the Mamba. All right, everybody, this is my first Let's Play of 2021. About to play NBA Jam. We're only playing as Kobe. Let's do the boss battle. Let's go. About to do Kobe versus the mailman, Carl Malone. Thank you. 
Really calm along. Oh shit. Kobe. Oh. Oh, he missed me. Nah, you can't touch this. Kobe. Come on, Carmelo, push me. Do not touch, bro. What are you doing, Carmelo? Can't touch this, bro. Oh no, can't touch this, bro. Uh-uh, Carmelo. Luka, don't touch, bro. What are you doing, Carmelo? Oh no, you can't touch this. No, sir. No, you can't touch this, bro. You can't touch this, Carmelo. Wow, 21 to 2. Alright, let's go. Next, we're going to face King James. Let's do... Yes, sir. Come on, King James. <laughs> nice try, LeBron. Yep. Oh. Oh, he's on fire. Oh, really, LeBron? I knew you was going to do that again. No, thank you, LeBron. No, sir. Balling. Nothing but net. Yes, sir. What you want to do, LeBron? What you want to do? Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah. You can uh, go 10 if you want. Once you're on fire. Once you're on fire, you can go 10. Let's go. The Mamba. And he's flying. Let's do four player, why not? Los Angeles Lakers! Houston Rockets! Miami Heat! And who... Oh, there he is. Big head mode. Mm -hmm. 
No power up. Big head mode. CP3. Chris Paul. You know how to play this game. First one to 21 wins the game. LeBron wants the tip. Get that out of here. Get that out of here, LeBron. LeBron again wins the tip. Oh. My bad. I should I knew you were gonna do that. Kobe! Come on, Kobe. Now we're in Kobe's in the zone. Oh, Trevor Reza. Come on, bro. Oh, Kobe got the ball. And he got it. Kobe! Here we go. Come on. Where you at, Trevor Reese? Where you at? Stephen Curry? Hell yeah. It's the shoes, all right. Oh, let me try again. In your face, LeBron. See if I can make a three. Oh, Trevor Reason. Block that. Get that out. Get that out of here, Kobe. Uh, I mean, LeBron. I said Kobe. It's over. It's over. Oh. Oh, I didn't have to take it back. I knew LeBron was going to block that. Oh, come on. Good one. Yeah, you have no choice, Stephen Curry, to shoot that. Damn. Stephen Curry, really? Oh, come on, bro. Why are you doing that elbow? Come on, Kobe. I just want to shoot that three. Well, finally you shot. Trevor Reese shot it. Oh, come on. Y'all couldn't even block that. It's over. Yes, sir. Finally. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Let's see if I can do elimination. To end this. Elimination. Let's do three. Los Angeles Lakers. Orlando Magic. Chicago Bulls. Why Howard was the tip?
in your face. Yes. Well, this won't be a good let's play, I know that. If Derrick Rose don't score, he won't be eliminated. That was way too easy. Oh, do I have a Get out of here. They're gross. Get that out of here. 